away with him. I mean, sure, he did that whole half-baked declaration thing last year, but stop me if this gets Christian weird. Totally fine. He seriously thinks I'm clinging on to that. Do you want to come catch the tiniest glimpse of me at the back of the court? I think I'm just going to grab some couch time. All's well in Catland? See ya. I totally upheld. There was a kiss brewing, but I stuck strong to the no boy pact. Was it strength or something else? I'm offended by that suggestion because that would make me pathetic. On this, we agree. I'm a lot of things, but I'm not pathetic. I'm evolved. I'm an upholder. Anyway, boring. Enough about me. No, surely not. So how's things with you? What sort of things? Life, dancing, that piece of rock melon you've been pushing around your plate for the past 20 minutes. Do you want it? I'm actually at capacity. Although, I just remembered, you may lose your appetite once you feast your eyes on this. <laughs> oh, I need a safe house. You're eating! The crunchy one's unusual. I know. The chewy ones reign supreme, but sometimes you just gotta make do. This, this is what we need. Confectionery posing as health food. No, you, me, no stressing about the company, boys, any of it. Well, pull up a pillow. I will be but a moment. Ugh. Rotten.com. Must have been that dodgy tandoori chicken I ate at lunch. Not the muesli bars? Is there anything I can do? Um, rain check girl time. I think I have to get horizontal. Also, I wanted to ask you, I have this friend. Well, more of a friend of a friend, outside the academy, anyway. She doesn't eat in public anymore, and then I think she might eat a lot secretly. Binging? Does she purge? Vomit or, or over-exercise? I know what you're thinking, but it's a ballet school. You have a big lunch, and then you have to put on a leotard, and it crosses your mind. You think about purging? I haven't done it, though, and I, I would never, ever do it. It's, it's just... Even if she's crossed that line a few times, I don't want to make it a big deal because... You want it to go away. It might. And it might get a lot worse. Hi. We really need to talk. Hang on, fresh face. Nearly done. I know what you're doing, you're sick, and we can't ignore it any longer. Yeah, I had food poisoning. It's gone now. Stop lying, you've got bulimia, cat. <laughs> what do you mean, I've got it? What, like, I, I caught it off a toilet seat? It's serious. You can get stomach ulcers, lose your teeth, it damages your immune system. This isn't you, you're not this person, you're smarter than this. Right. Smart enough to know this isn't about me. You're jealous. You're miserable in the company, completely out of your depth. And for the first time ever, I'm not just the funny sidekick. I'm fit. I don't have back issues. I don't have any issues. And you can't stand that.
those horrible things I said before. What I should have said was, I love you. It's just scary. You're Cat. I hate that you've been going through this alone. Yeah, I'm Cat, the one who eats her feelings. It's a big joke, right? Now, no matter how much I eat, I never feel better. It's like there's a hole that I can't fill. Sammy-shaped hole. Of course. <sighs> Maybe it's something else, too. Since I got back this year, it's, it's like I don't know how to fit. We'll work it out. I promise. <laughs>